Hi Taurus, I hope you're all well today. So we'll be looking at whoever's on your mind for the rest of April. I kept seeing Hermit um, when I was shuffling and I do use two decks. So some of you definitely could be dealing with the Virgo uh, or it can be that you have Taurus Virgo somewhere in your chart. Well, you're a Taurus sun sign, but you may have Virgo placements, moon, Venus, rising, or it can be just that you both are sort of quiet here so there's not much going on um, perhaps isolated from one another i don't see much uh, communication coming through well in the outcome i definitely see things turning around but this person's overall energy we have four of pentacles upright justice in reverse wow very stubborn whoever you're dealing with but this person may have done something that was unjust here and if that is the case, um, say this was someone that did you wrong, it's almost they're refusing to see their own mistake. Um, they may be pointing fingers here, but they're coming through as very closed off. Let's clarify. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? For the person on Taurus mind. Seven of Swords. Yeah, it's someone who's avoiding you. They haven't let go of you. <laughs> if I if I keep the rest of the spread in mind, this definitely, definitely this person's holding on to you. There's some possessiveness here, right? A sense of ownership almost, but they may have cheated. This was someone who was deceptive. They were sneaky. May even have Venus and Scorpio. It's sort of the vibe I'm getting, but for the time being, things are at a standstill. They may not be expressing their truth to you. They feel they didn't do anything wrong. They're not taking responsibility. Why is justice in reverse? Knight of Cups. There'll be an expression um, of love coming from this person. It's not coming from a genuine place. So it's someone who's half-heartedly apologizing to you. Deep down in their heart, they don't feel they did anything wrong. There's no remorse here. At least that is what I'm getting here in their overall energy. But they do miss you. It's not that they don't have feelings for you, but this is someone who's not realizing their mistakes. So they're not learning from the past here. And there's a strong possibility that if this person were to come back around, they'd do the same thing. So that is something you have to be careful of. If this person was unfair, um, they weren't doing their part in the past. They're still that person because they're refusing to see what role they played in this whole situation is what I'm getting. How they're viewing you, Nine of Pentacles, Five of Swords in reverse. Well, if you're committed to this person, they're seeing you as someone who's not single, right? You're together. And others of you, sometimes Nine of Pentacles in reverse can be a clingy energy, someone who's codependent, but let's clarify. Why is Nine of Pentacles in reverse here? What I am feeling, I will clarify, but what I'm feeling is that this person feels that you don't want to be apart from them and you're willing to compromise. Why is Nine of Pentacles in reverse here for how this person will be viewing Taurus? Five of Swords in reverse again. Huh. Some of you were giving them the silent treatment here in the past. Why is Five of Swords in reverse here? This person feels like you need them. You need them. Wow, a little bit of an arrogant energy. King of Swords, Knight of Wands. Yeah, that you're willing to communicate. You want to work it out. That you're having a hard time letting them go. Some of them feel that you lack self-love. Keep in mind here, uh, Taurus, for one, this is a general reading, and just because someone sees you this way doesn't mean that is who you are. The way they're perceiving you, is that correct? I don't think so. Because if I look at your feelings, your outcome, you're the Queen of Pentacles upright. You're not in reverse, you're upright. So I think this person is projecting or they're making up scenarios, right? Especially if you're not communicating with the Hermit. They're assuming things about you. 
Because this is someone who's gone within, seeking some sort of clarity, right? So if they're not in communication with you, they've been avoiding you. It's assumptions. How they're feeling about you, we have two of swords upright, nine of swords in reverse. I'm sorry if any of this sounds harsh. That's not my intention. I'm just trying to be honest here with what I'm feeling or what I'm seeing here. And their feelings, again, blocked off energy. We saw that with the four of pentacles. We see it with the two of swords. Very stubborn. Yeah, it's almost like, you know, I'll push this to the side. I won't think about it and it will go away. So they're not dealing with the issue at hand. So if I ignore it, it'll randomly disappear. That is their mentality right now. Oh, this is going to bite them in the end. I see it. I see it here. You have nothing to worry about. Yeah, they're acting single, even if they are in a relationship with you or they're committed elsewhere. There was some cheating here. Um, they're acting single. Why is Nine of Swords in a verse here? They're coming out of their head. They're not wanting to stress about the situation. They're focusing on themselves. Some of them are getting attention from others. Why is Nine of Swords in a verse here? Some of you cut this person out because of a third energy, this Queen of Wands in reverse. Why is Nine of Swords in reverse here? I think I had a similar storyline for your last reading as well, right? Where there's a, seeing a strong third party for some of you. Some of them could be at a distance here from you physically. Nine of Cups. Emperor, yeah. Definitely was feeling emperor vibes here with all that ego, stubbornness. Yeah, it's it's that same situation. I'm very stubborn, not wanting to take responsibility or admit that they're wrong. But what 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 that's causing here is a lot of dissatisfaction. So they can pretend that you don't exist. The longer you two are apart, <laughs> the more they start missing you, is what I'm getting. So it's more of a frontier that this doesn't bother me, I don't care, blah blah. But they're not happy with what is going on here between the both of you. So if there is no contact, they're not happy about that. Their intentions, the tower in reverse, page of wands in reverse, they're avoiding either confrontation, they may be avoiding you, um, say um, you're committed, they, they don't want the situation to fall apart, that is coming through as well. If you two are committed, this person doesn't want this fallout. They don't want the breakup. They're avoiding some sort of disaster here. And some of you, they're just straight out avoiding you. What action they'll take? Now this is interesting, magician. Are they wanting to make things work with you? Let's clarify. Because ma magician is Mercury, right? So that talks about communication. In their actions, they're likely to communicate with you. Why is the magician here? Why is the magician here? For what action this person will be taking towards Taurus? I feel like you'll be getting communication from them after a period of separation or silence with the eight of wands. Why is the magician here? Yeah, page of swords. Oh, I see. Um, This person is actually watching you somehow. If they have no means of watching you, this is someone who's planning. They're strategizing. Very clever individual. They're not done, but they're taking a step back to plan their next move. They're strategizing. Very secretive. Let me get one more for what action they'll take. Magician. King of Swords. Likely to communicate. Although the King of Swords and the Page of Swords, their sword is pointed down. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. A very intelligent. Can be. Um, very manipulative if they choose to be trying to be objective 
they're coming to you, not the most emotional. But I definitely see communication from this person for a lot of you. Yeah, six of cups, six of pentacles. Some of you, there's children involved or something about child support. This person wants to give to you. They're saying, I want harmony. I want to reconcile. I want balance, peace. Sixes, six, six, six. Your feelings, six of pentacles, and I don't want to give to this. Some of you are saying it's not fair. It's one-sided. And perhaps you were doing all the giving and you're fed up. So you may be keeping your options open. Seven of cups, you're seeing what else is out there. Something that's on your level. Why is Six of Pentacles in reverse here for how Taurus will be feeling? Eight of Pentacles. I'm not surprised. Ruling our second house. Some of you may be concerned about your finances or your job is your focus. Which I see with the Queen of Pentacles. You're doing what needs to be done here. Why is Seven of Cups here? Some of you may have your back turned to the situation because how he's seated, he's not even looking up, right? He's facing away from the spread. Clarify the Seven of Cups for how Taurus will be feeling. Look, I, I'm not making this up. Six of Swords in reverse, Queen of Pentacles upright. Some of you think, you definitely think about this person and it's not easy uh, moving away, right? Especially mentally, but... You're doing what's right for you. You're putting yourself first. You're very much in your element. You're representing the more positive traits of your sign. Someone who has a good head on your shoulders and you're getting things done. So there's a good balance here. Um, you're not someone who's, you know, have, has your head in the clouds. So it's almost like you have a good balance going for you, if that makes sense. You definitely think about this situation but you're not letting it throw you off. You're very much in control of your emotions. Ace of Wands. If this person were to come towards you, some of you may turn them down with the Ace of Wands in reverse. And others of you, if you're... Um, keeping your options open, you may feel that you're attracting energies that only want you for your body. Um, they only want something physical and you will be turning those offers down. So if you are playing the field, I think you do have to filter through a few frogs here. In your outcome, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Universe. Yeah, you feel like the situation failed um, with whoever this individual is. Because Six of Wands is a lack of... It can be someone who wasn't appreciating you, what you had to offer. But it's a sense of feeling like you failed. Why is Queen of Pentacles here in the outcome? Usually, it sometimes can be a wife. But it's a general reading, wife, husband. Why is Queen of Pentacles here for a Taurus outcome? Some of you are a mother, you're a great mother or father. Wow, yeah, see, chariot, fourth house. Something about children and a mother is coming through. I want one more here, Taurus, for the Queen of Pentacles. If you don't have children, it can be nurturing. See, Queen of Pentacles is a very nurturing, mothering energy. So it can be talking about inner child healing or mothering yourself in this time. So that can be your focus. You're uh, wanting to heal. Yeah, Eight of Swords in reverse, Four of Swords. You're working on healing. You're working on mental peace. Some of you were very stuck in your head overthinking and that is what you'll be coming out of in the outcome. Why is Six of Wands in reverse for Taurus outcome? Why is Six of Wands in reverse? Yeah, going back and forth here in your mind. There was indecision here or there is in your energy of what you should do a lot of you feel this won't go anywhere. 
you're thinking about it. You have a decision to make in your outcome and you're on the fence here. A lot of you are leaning in the direction of dropping this. You feel it won't get anywhere. This person's outcome, they're sneaking right back in. I was telling you, they're avoiding you. They're doing some shady, sneaky stuff up there. Outcome, I don't want to fight. Um, whatever situation I was involved in, I don't want to deal with that. You're the one I want. Look at where he's headed right towards the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus. If they had their other, you know, if they had other people involved options, they're letting go of that. It's not working out for them. Let's clarify. Why Seven of Swords here for this person's outcome? But the issue here is, okay, they're sneaking back, but you know how I started the reading is they weren't taking responsibility. I see that. I actually have a card. We'll get their intentions, but it's reminding me of that Oracle card. I'm going to sneak back in and pretend like nothing ever happened. That is what I'm feeling in their outcome. Why is Seven of Swords here? For this person on Taurus mind. Hierophant. Yeah, there was some cheating within a marriage, a solid commitment. They cheated on you. Hierophant is Taurus energy. They were never loyal to you. Or they were non-committal. Something was going on here. But look what they're coming towards. You're <laughs> it's telling me the same thing. Seven of Swords walking into the Hierophant. Taurus. And you'll hear from them. They're coming back around. Why seven of wands in reverse here? I'm also curious to know what they're looking back at, right? Their toes are pointed in your direction. What? What is the seven of wands? Third party situation. Something that didn't work out. A fallout. There's some situation. They may have left you for another person and it didn't work out. There's no stability there. There's a third party. There was separation, a breakup. Or it can be a family situation that they're leaving behind. There's some weird stuff going on here. Let's get you... Oh, uh, I want to get you love pack, actually. This is has... I think this is the most interesting reading so far. Oh, yeah and look at ignoring right independence it, we had that in their feelings i'm fine on my own i don't need you taurus but what is going on within nine of cups in reverse they were viewing you as needy codependent but who's needy nine of cups in reverse they are some of them they're projecting yeah pushing you away acting independent independent acting like they don't need you and we also have deception. He's giving her a bouquet of flowers, yet he's committed. What is he chained to? Is it a family? Is it another person? I don't know, something. But there's deception here. Be very careful. Protect yourself. Falling in love. Yeah, they'll be it back. They'll be back. I actually want one more. I'm kind of curious to know. Yeah, you don't trust this person. You don't. Look, doubt. You're keeping them at arm's length. Some of you, there may be little. This is telling a story. Right? He's offering her a bouquet of flowers. He's tied to something. He's chained. In this card, she's pushing him away. She's saying, I don't trust you. He has that same bouquet of flowers. Let me see if I can show you this imagery. Yeah, so even if this person wants to come back, uh, you don't trust them now. What is this person's intentions towards Taurus for the rest of... It's, these oracle cards are more so for confirmation. Um, we already got their intentions and pretty much told you what is going on. Uh, let's see if they want to add any additional guidance, messages, whatever comes through Taurus. You know what's interesting? I notice that when I rely or use 
oracle cards too, to say like too much it blocks my intuition so i i feel like i'll maybe just use it for confirmation here and there i do like oracle cards but definitely does block my intuition <laughs> yeah they're not done despite what's happening between us i still believe we can make a great couple in the future so definitely if you're committed or you once work you were committed to this person they're not giving up on this connection they don't want a divorce they don't want to let go of you They still believe that you both can work this out. Whoa, didn't I, I, I talked about this card. Sorry, I shouldn't be that surprised, I'm used to. <laughs> I'm used to miracles. Is that what we call them? We have, I'm going to sneak back into your life and pretend nothing ever happened. I know I'm a coward and look, I'm going to have my cake and eat it too. I know I'm being selfish. Yeah, they want you to just forget, pretend like whatever they did didn't happen, and you can be happy again. And I'm not sure. You're, you were on the fence here. See, I won't tell you what to do here. You know your situation better. It's a general reading. If you have children with this person, I understand. Some of you, it's just memories. There's fond memories here. I mean, we also had falling in love, right? I want to see how this person will be feeling about you in May. Sort of a sneak peek into May. Yeah, you'll have a choice to make when it comes to this person. They'll want to commit. We have I'm ready to build on a more solid foundation. So if they're non-committal here in the past, they're sneaking back to say, I want to commit to you but wasn't i saying you have a decision to make we have you have to make a choice choose who you want to make you happy i need an answer from you yeah so they will be wanting to come back and you'll have to choose let's get you advice i'm actually curious to know what this deck says what advice do you have for taurus for the rest of april 2022 what advice do you have for taurus when it comes to this person on their mind What advice do you have for Taurus in regards to the person on their mind? Angel messages. Pay attention and observe what is happening within and around you. Your angels are sending you messages and signs. So that is more of a trust your intuition, right? Um, the answers are within you. So when it comes to making a decision about this person, whether you should give them another chance or not, um, it would be best for you to rely on your intuition. It won't lead you down the wrong path. What advice do you have for Taurus? Rose. Some of you, they're saying business affair and play the field. So if there's a situation where um, you met someone at work, it's almost like they're saying if you're dealing with someone at work, keep your options open. And some of you were seven of cups. I don't know why that came through, but that is how it came through here in the deck. Taking you for a ride. Careful not to be taken for a ride and waste your time chasing lies. Take control of your love life and realize you're good enough to deserve better. If you feel like someone is taking advantage of you, they're overstepping, crossing your boundaries, they're saying take control of your love life. You're good enough. Don't settle for less than you deserve. Okay, Taurus, that is what I have for you. Hopefully you got some clarity out of this reading. Take care of yourself and I will see you next week. Bye.